Oh, it's so suffocatingly human today. I cannot wait for this summer to be over. Hey there, everyone! This is Alcom, playing Spyro, the friendly dog. There's still a level in World 1 I haven't done. Let's see if I can find it again. I think it's like around over here. No, that's a balloon. Right. There we go, this is the right place. I remember- no, no, no. I remember this from the demo. Last time, like, when I played a demo, like, when I went in that balloon, it led to this, like, flying segment, I reckon. Which is why I was surprised to end up in, a, like, a whole new place yesterday. But Town Square is where we're going. We haven't found any treasure, because there's none to be found, actually. You fool, my my glasses are just fogging up on their own. These are the living conditions I live in. Alright, every time you get to a place, you have to chat. So, two hundo, four dragono, and there's an egg here too. Alright, so... A full experience in chickens that are just not having a great time. So, you know, you want to... I don't know, man. I think it's weird how the game just casually wants you to massacre poor little innocent animals, but... I guess that is what it's like to be a dragon. Ooh, really gotta earn that big dragon, though. <laughs> like, you can't really see dragon as, like, star-equivalent collectibles. They're... Welcome to Town Square, kind of their own Spyro. thing. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the, the bulls? L2 and R2 buttons to get a good look. No. You can't tell me what to do. I'm gonna do it. That's why I forgot there's an action roll. Also, L and R are backwards on what I would want them to swivel in, so that's pretty rad. Alright, here we go, look at that, I glid. There's that bull, that's right, headbutt the headbutt. Oh, that, 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 hit. and then this is like there, so you can fry him up. Alright, sounds good, so counter, and then super death, and then prize winning. Alright, so if I find a chicken, I need to roast them, in order to become ever more powerful. It's Dragonfly, so that's why, you know, he's friend to me, a dragon. There is a connection of concept here. I messed it up, my jump bad. There you go, now I jumped, okay. Here we go, just gliding above a thing. I know there's a one up in these. Uh, Alright, press L and R to become one with the Everglades. Uh, hey, look at that, it's Dragon midway through the path. It's Devlin! Thanks, Pyro. <laughs> I had the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Oh, did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing X at the very top of your jump? Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense because you're at the highest point. I've learned that yesterday the hard way. Well, did I? A little bit. Alright, these guys are having fun. It's like the running of the bull, except, you know... Oh yeah, he's literally a matador, huh? Oh, you can just fry up the bull without having to stun them. Alright, all right, then. So water kills you, Spyro. How about this found water? Uh, I don't know, because I just did that. I heard you, nya 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 nya, but I'm not there yet. Alright, okay, here we go. There's a collection of chicken. I'm gonna fry with just the one. And then you're gonna feed yourself. Actually, I ended up frying two of them. Yeah, fire, you know, is not always the most controllable bucket in the tower, you know? As they say, it's a real expression. Everyone's using it all- you can't stop people from saying that, it's disgusting. Alright, just fry him up, uh, check it out now, that guy is gone! Blue jump for me- like, having, uh, your buddy being there- oh, that's the way back, alright. Being there to collect stuff for you is such a smart move, especially in a 3D game like this. Or like, just kind of moving a little bit left and right, left and right a little bit, you know, like, can get pretty annoying. <laughs> Almar. Did you see a man dressed in blue running around here? I have. He's a thief, and he's stolen a dragon egg. Oh no. You've got to track him down and, and get that egg. Run, run. Wow, you're... <laughs> I'm getting a little winded. And yet, you're just kind of standing there, and then you teleport away. What a fool. Never trust your elders. That's the Spyro lesson. Alright, how do I get to a higher spot? And then cry. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, like, I feel like I've done what I could here. What I need to do is, like... There's, like, a ledge 
here that I've just went into without trying too hard. Yeah, there you go, and then we're here. Yeah. No, Spyro is a four-legged being, so some actions are gonna be a little bit harder. Look at this sweet trail, though. There's a diamond trail to Hackville. Uh, everyone owns a ham factory here. We don't ask too much why. Oh, na 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 na. Where are you at? Yeah, once again, it's just like this weird. Oh, this is kind of precarious. Where did he escape though? Like, does, is he able to run? Like, no, like, is he over there? Maybe, like, cause like, according to like directional sound technology, like he'd be somewhere over there. Well, you know what? I'm gonna do things one step at a time. Destroy things for fun, mostly. There we go. Destruction, destruction, destruction. There's a sweet pyramid here for all people who are in charge of head transference. I don't know that. There he is. You fell down. That what? What a cheater! Oh. Um. Okay then. Oh, I can go back up here though. All right, but from here I can't go back up there though. What a okay, but from here I can glide back here. I still have to go like through this loop again. There's no way around it. How dare you laugh? There's nothing funny. Ah, oh, god damn it! Ah, no! Well. God! Fart, fart, barb. <sighs> Dude. Uh... Like, transferring from running to, like, that's on the left face button to pressing fire breath that's on the right button? I think that's super awkward in terms of, like, thumb movement and you just have to do that, like, pretty regularly. Like, you're gonna have to do that every time you deal with that guy, it feels like. But anyways... What's that? It's a wind turbine! Did it! I figured that one out. Alright, hey, Thor, the Dragon of Thunder. Thank you for Ooh, releasing that's me! That's your voice. Alright, that's your message. <laughs> it's got a lot to say. A lot on his mind. Where's that bull? There you go. Destroy bull. It feels bad to destroy a bull, but we just gotta do it. The old one gem inside them. And there we go! Fully completed this place, and we're right at the end, too. That went pretty smoothly, you know, beyond um, running after that one guy. Like, it just it just didn't go well. I, I can't really explain it. Well, since that went pretty well, let's go check out the boss place of World 1. And then, I guess we'll be done with World 1. Pretty wild. Eh. There it is. Kinda lost track. Alright, let's save just in case, because I don't know. Here we go. I'm not actually on a pedestal or anything, but close enough. Game saved. Wow. Alright. Giant open toasty. But like, so the Dr. Sham level was a, uh, was a full level. Like, that's where I learned how to glide and whatnot. So this is probably a full level. I expect a full level. Yeah, see there's gems here on the side. A hundo and one. Dalmatians. Got it. Uh, just, uh cliffside danger. It's the wizard! Cast flame! Oh, sorry about your puma? I don't know what's up with that animal, but it's dead now. Alright, so, wizard toast zone. It's where all the toast phone they hang up their telephone cords. A, a very important service. Maybe they're shepherds and they're like sheepdogs? I don't know. He just squishes me, which is not something I would attribute to, like, ah! Where you at? Where you at? Okay, so it's two fire breath. No, do bag bag bari boop ba da ba doop ba da di bow. Yeah, just die, please. It's fine. There's no um, like you play a lot of uh, modern 3D games, and you know when you get close to 
when you get close to a pit or something, typically, like, something will stop you. Like, that's something even in Sonic 06 we've encountered several times. Yeah, none of that in this game. If you're moving quickly and you're next to a wall, you ju you are deciding to live dangerously. Except by deciding, I mean, you don't have much say about it. Uh, oh, look at that. Like, look at this just complete danger dan here. Jesus hell, dude. Whoa there, buddy. Alright. What if I, like, see, okay, well, I didn't take any damage there, though, even though we've, like, what? Okay, I got a caning, got it, no, 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 mm. I didn't see any wild animals here ready for the sacrifice, I'm just getting murdered by the basic enemies, it's pretty good. Alright, go, getting these. It's like, run by, do a fire, then don't know where you're going. And then just kind of do that around and go like, Ugh. All right. That's the key. The key is the Ugh. All right, there you go. There's your delicious ruby hard heart. I need it inside my stomach. It's gonna power me up. I don't like your taste in the big drops. I fry you up sometimes, mostly right now. Give me hell though, man. Like, you're being kind of rude, I think. Fireball. A fire spread. Uh, that guy also got a cane, so be careful. But ultimately, nothing matters. Alright, what's over here? This parapet. Yeah, we're gonna get a gem, then we're gonna get a bunch of more gems. Alright, here we go. Oh, this is like, welcome to Danger Path. I... Something about the controls in this game. I don't know. I don't know. I'll get used to it. Like, this is like the first time I feel like the game is being a little bit dangerous, so... Adapting. I, I did that. Just frying you up here. Alright, so I got it, so I can take some hits now. But no, I need to kill you because you have gems. Like, that's the frustrating part. You're allowed to move one day, no? Like, you just sat there, like, like, moving your paws. Like, why were you doing that? Spyro, the dragon? I don't get it. Alright, it is a wizard. Or a shepherd, I don't know, you're something. You're something, someone. That's just the truth. Alright, little light head bop. Yeah, so I think that the main difference about boss levels, other than possibly containing a boss, maybe, is that, uh, there's just no health animals. That's, that's just not a feature. Alright, so, you're having fun. There's the one dragon here. Here you go, no? Really? Okay. There's a range to my fire cone, and I don't know what it is. Uh, hey, buddy, it's Nevin. Well, I'm gonna run all the way here. Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Really? I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. This boss has many tricks up his sleeve. It's the first boss, though. Like, what do you expect? I don't think about it. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and just put this as my little midpoint. Like, yeah, like, I'm gonna have, like, one more life. That's gonna be- is that the boss? The Reaper of Pumpkin Land? The, the Pumpkin Reaper? Oh, look at that! It's got, like, a robot! Okay. Does that is trick? It's pretty good. Alright, so your attack pattern is you have enemies fighting for you. Alright, that's fine. There we go. Then he's just kind of freaking out, and I'm like, whoosh! Yeah! Oh, look at your sheep! On st oh, that's pretty funny. Is that one of Ganasha's Gnork's most powerful minions, though? Food? I mean, sure. You know what? Food's a pretty powerful substance. If you control food, you control the ability to nourish yourself. You control the exchange of environmental messages. You control the tastes of love. I don't know what any of that meant. Wow, that certainly happened, though. Cannot deny how much happened right now. <laughs> Alright. It's a boss. That it was essentially in this 
squishable from an enemy, but I don't know. Like, it's the first boss. It's fine. You look neat. This is very old robot pumpkin reaper. Like, that's fun. There you go. Out of mouth. And then to the fry pan. There we go. Now we can do world two proper next time. <laughs> Hey, look at that. It took a little bit longer to save. Alright, let's eat ourselves some meat. See, the, my dragonfly eating the butterfly is a metaphor for Spyro eating the sheep. That's, that's how it works out. Metaphors are powerful tools, my friends. Uh,